Well, Nick, you've, uh, welcome to the Albion. Thank you've, you very much. You've made the move after, uh, I think it's 20 years at Reading. Uh, yeah, 20 years, yeah. Long time in football, especially modern football. So, uh, yeah, a, a bit of a wrench to leave, of course. And fabulous club, really, really good people there, many, many of whom I've known for a very, very long time. But uh, I just felt this opportunity was right, the timing was right, and uh, I'm just very excited to be here, looking forward to it. You were a, a sort of an early pioneer of the, the technical director role in this country. How did you how did you take to it and where did you go for your, your research? Did you go abroad? Or well, no, not really. I mean, I was 2003 I became uh, director of football at Reading, which was it sort of coincided with Alan Pardew leaving the club. Alan and I worked really closely with the, the chairman and the board and, and uh, when Alan left they were they were keen for me to, to stay. They didn't want to lose, lose both of us at the same time. So that's where it originated. Sir John Modeski offered me that opportunity. Director of football, fantastic chairman. What does that mean? And it was that sort of conversation. And um, But it, it, it started from there because I loved the club and uh, I wanted to stay. So we discussed what the role would be. And But you know, having done it for sort of 13, 14 years, you know, the role that it was then, and sort of evolved to a, to a, to a very different role uh, when I when I when I left. I know when Dan Ashworth um, took on that that position here, he spoke very highly of you, and I know he came to you for a little bit of advice, given that you would. Uh, he's done, done well that boy there. Ashworth, hasn't he? Yeah. You obviously gave him some good advice. Yeah, no, he's uh, he's a, he's a great guy, Dan, and um, you know de delighted for the for the job that he did here, and and then the progression and uh, to a very different role at at, uh, at the FA. Um, and he, he's done a fantastic job and he did a fantastic job at this club so it's actually a, a very hard act to follow but you know he was um, yeah he was new into the role here and, and we'd been we'd been running the model at Reading for for a while so we talked a lot and we continue to talk a lot and he, he spoke uh, very very highly of the club here and the people here and that was one of the great sort of incentives for me to come I, I've de dealt with the chairman uh, with Mark, with Richard Garlick uh, over the years, as well as Dan, um, did the deal to, 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 to sell Shane Long to, to the club. So I know the executive at the club, and you know that's massively important for me because you, you have to be comfortable going into to an environment to, to know, try and understand what you're going to get, how it's going to work, and you know everyone has a title and a roles and responsibilities, and that's massively important. But ultimately, it's about the people. That you can have good working relationships, and um, I felt that would be the case. And I, and I took a lot of counsel from Dan in terms of the club and, and how it works. And uh, uh, as I say, now I'm I'm here, and I'm just really looking forward to the challenge. What are the uh, the chief areas of responsibility that that you're going to cover? Well, I work really across the first team with uh, uh, with Tony, and that's uh, that's something I'm really looking forward to as well. I've known Tony over the years and um, seen the job that he's done at various clubs uh, and always a successful one. So working with him closely is, is going to be part of the role. Obviously that entails recruitment and you know people talk about directors of football, technical directors and of course the, the, only, the only thing they ever focus on is recruitment because they feel, think that's a problem, why, why everyone thinks that, why I never quite understand. Um, but we can we can talk about that a bit more. But uh, the uh, relationship with the academy, uh, Mark Harrison, the academy manager, um, and the progression of academy players through the club into the first team, uh, that's a massive part of the role. Something I discussed at length with uh, the chairman, Mark and Richard, um, because that's something I'm passionate about, and, and we've done very successfully at Reading. And um, Youth development is 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 massively important to me, and I know it is to this club. So again, another reason why, you know, I was uh, you know, happy to to come here because a lot of the philosophies at this club were, were, were I find are very very similar to to, to the sort of Reading club and the the, the model that, that that we built down there. So um, uh, so first team and recruitment uh, with Tony and and academy and progression of those players are you know, they're, they're the real focuses for me and. Uh, it's um, it's going to be different. Uh, it's going to be very new, and I'm a bit sort of stayed in my ways in terms of being at Reading for so long. So, you know, this is a chance to 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 be somewhere different with different people, with new people, fresh fresh ideas, and you know, hopefully, going to energise me. I'm looking to, to to give some of my experience back to to the people here, but you know, I'm looking to take on new things as well. So, 
I'm hoping that you know the two things combined work for the benefit of the club, and and that's it. You know, I'm here for the benefit of, any, uh, of uh, West Bromwich Albion Football Club, and um, that's that's what any employee should be uh, should be tasked with when they come to to, to work for an organisation. You mentioned the academy um, as part of it. You're coming at a, a very good time for the Albion Academy. Obviously, Jonathan Leeko making his first start yeah. uh, last week and Tyler Roberts involved, Sam Field as well. But yeah. Have you have you had much of a look at the, the academy set up here? Well, I've I've spoken with Mark and I've asked him to give me a little bit of grace in terms of getting my feet under the table and um, and dealing with these sort of immediate issues before we sit down and talk more about the, the academy as a whole. Um, we're coming into the summer, so that's a good time to do that, to, for me to understand how things work here. And um, it's a very, very good academy. I know that by reputation and... You know the, the the academy world is 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 very well known amongst the the, uh, the football people and um, you know the people that, that I worked for with for a long time speak very very highly of the academy here and I've seen the boys I saw those three three fellas train yesterday with the first team uh, and that's great to see uh, yeah, it was great to see for me on my first day but for supporters there's nothing like young players coming through into the first team at a football club. Fans have an affinity with that. And, and Albion's very, very well placed. Um, opportunity for young footballers in uh, England is, is critical, mm. is crucial for the development of the game. And this is a club that can offer that. Uh, and there are a number of clubs that don't. So to be a Premier League club with a flourishing academy is, is something that I really, really believe in um, opportunity for young players to progress to the first team, and Tony's given those boys, um, those boys, their chance, uh, and I think that's fabulous. And that's the key. You know, you have to, you have to give light at the end of the tunnel, and you have to have a manager who's brave enough and confident enough to to do that. And uh, so I think that's a massive bonus for the club going into the summer. Tony's mentioned um, working with John Rudge at Stoke in a <laughs> similar kind of capacity. So I guess he's used to, to working with a, a technical director, whatever the, the title yeah, is. Yeah, no, and, and of course, that's going to be the obvious question coming to this club and from internally and, and externally. And, and you can't dodge that question. Um, but, but to me, it's, it, it's not a problem. But it's something that I, I, I absolutely had to be clear on before I came. Um, Tony came to the club and, and understood the, the, the model that the chairman and board want to, want to run here and, and accepted that when he came. But I spoke with Tony um, be, before I made that final decision to come on a face-to-face -to, -face to say, you know, and, and understand how he, how, he, how he feels about it because he's a top manager and he's been a top manager for a very, very long time. But, you know, I'm not here uh, to do anything other than support and try and ease the pressure and take away the workload and allow the manager uh, to, to manage the team and the team to be successful. Uh, and I'm very strong with, with, with staff um, across, the, across the football club. You know, the, the manager's job at the football club is incredibly difficult. It is, uh, it is in the spotlight, it is 24-7, and the, the job of the, the, the football people, everyone at the club, is to support that, to energise the manager and uh, support him in allowing him to do the be best job that he can. And that's why I'm here. Um, I work for the football club uh, and I work for the football club to be successful. But you have to have a working relationship with your manager if you do this role. I've worked with Alan Pardew, with Steve Coppel, with Brendan Rodgers. Uh, with Brian McDermott, with um, Steve Clark, and with Nigel Atkins. I have had excellent relationships with all of them. And fundamentally, they understand that I'm here to contribute and to help. And actually, if that's your starting point, then everything else is OK. You've come at the, uh, about the busiest time in terms of recruitment, mm -hmm. so you're obviously here to help with that. It's uh, going to be a, a, a hectic summer again, I guess. Um, well, I would, I would think so, yeah. I mean, the, the finer detail of that, I, I need to sit down with, uh, with Tony and uh, with, the, with the chairman and board and understand. Obviously, again, before I came to the club, there was some discussion around that. Um, I've been driving uh, Jeff Baskerville 
crazy in the last 24 hours just to, to understand where they're at and uh, in, in that process. Because that, uh, what you say is right, you know, we are right on to the summer window and of course targets would already have been identified and spoken about and um, maybe even a, 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 certain, a certain way down the line. So I need to very quickly get a, an understanding of that and, uh, and where the budgets lay and, um, and, and, and move forward from there. So again, it is, it, it's a massive part of the job now. Um, it's the part that people focus on and, and, and rightly so. You know, fans always want to talk about new players coming to the club and uh, I think for sure you know, Tony will want to bring new players into the club this summer. But, but the role is, 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 is a much wider role um, and it's, it's, it's really making sure in conjunction with the, with the stakeholders that the football club's going in the right direction and we're all singing from the same hymn sheet and that is massively important. If you can have togetherness in a football club with everyone striving uh, for the same thing, then you've got a great chance of being successful. It was my first day yesterday and I was very fortunate to go to the, um, to the, uh, the awards dinner last night. And I very quickly saw what, what I've seen from the outside, which is a, a club that's got great support and people that, that genuinely care. You know, to see the 66 the cup winning guys there and, and uh, the guys involved with the 68 cup final, just still involved with the club, people caring about the club, talking about the club, integrating with, the, with, with, uh, with some of the existing players. It just had a really, really good and positive feel about it. And if you can have that in a football club, y y anything is achievable. You can be successful. But you, you all have to be pulling in the same direction, and um, I've always felt that about this club. And in a, you know, just a snapshot last night, I just experienced a bit of it as well. So um, I'm I'm really looking forward to it.